All right, guys, let's get back to this for real. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. When does the education start on this channel? Um. Bear gang till I die. Ho, swooped up the homies and we about to start a side show. Why does Spy keep climbing? Because everybody's trying to do. Remember yesterday, the exact same thing happened. Okay. We saw the same thing happen yesterday, remember? Saw that little climb come up and then sell off again. Why is it going up? Because the news is that, uh, that, that they're, they're saying that in China, uh, the, the new cases are dropping dramatically. And a lot of companies are reopening in China. Starbucks, McDonald's, Apple. But the unfortunate thing is, is that the numbers that come out of China, a lot, oftentimes, are not correct. And on top of that, another thing that's very important to understand is that this is starting to get into Europe. It doesn't have to infect a lot of people. It doesn't have to kill a lot of people. It just has to cause panic. Panic stops people from going out to eat. Stops people from going shopping. Stopping for people from traveling. Okay? Then the people who work in those industries start losing their jobs because... The business owners can't afford to pay them, and it becomes a perpetual cycle. If Germany has an outbreak anywhere near what we saw in Italy, night night Europe, as far as GDP, and 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 and, and Germany is the absolute epicenter of the, the economy of the EU. They're the ones who have bailed out Greece and Italy and Portugal and Spain and everybody. So that's kind of what that's kind of what we're having to face. So we already know that 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 even even if even if even if coronavirus was wiped out today the last month of gdp slowdown and economic impact that took place in china and over asia is going to have ripple effects for the next several months and that's if it was gone today now europe is hap is happening okay these things it's, it's going to continue to go on the, it doesn't matter that not many people compared to the flu are affected or killed it's about the panic okay we price things in the market and trade them accordingly we don't price new diseases in, in our heads and people get scared. No one was in the airport in Atlanta nor Heathrow. Exactly. I mean, look at Martini. She just flew from Atlanta to, to London. The airports were empty. The flights were empty. We've been shorting cruise liners and airlines for the last three days, making thousands of percent return. Because they already they, these companies are coming out and saying that, that they're going to be impacted. Apple has already talked about their impact. Uh, some of the cruise lines have, and airlines have basically just said, you know what, 2020 is a wash. We're going to lose a lot of money. And, you know, we're, 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 we're seeing that already. Next is going to be hotels and casinos, okay? Restaurants. I mean, the next earnings season that comes up for Q1 is going to be really bad. Stock guy, I am from Frankfurt, Germany. I agree with you. There are more and more infectious here, and officials handle it laissez-faire. Can really hard on our economy. Yeah, but the more the most important thing to understand too is is that um, once again, you know, Germany is the economic stronghold of, of Europe. If, if 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 Germany's GDP starts slowing down and, and and they have the same effects as China, you're gonna see the entire EU because they don't have Britain now anymore either. The entire EU just starts slumping. Straight down your ass. What if the Q1 yeah, is better than expected oh, based on the expected I, I, loss of Corona? So they're they're only going to be able to price in so much. So what a lot of these companies are doing is they're coming out now and saying, hey, we're not going to meet expectations to try and get the selling and the bleeding done now so that it's actually low enough that when, exp when EPS comes, they'll actually be able to beat or at least meet expectations and then continue to run from there. That's the issue. Okay, which one do you think is the best to hold overnight? Codex, APT, or MRNA? We have been playing those stocks, and, and this is the, the these are the list of the stocks we've been playing over the last week, right here. MRNA, which is the vaccine, APT, which is the masks, NNVC, Codex, both pharmaceuticals that have, that, that have played a big role in the MRNA. I think that if the market decides to stabilize, or at least, at least get some kind of support between today and tomorrow, I think you're better off playing uh, 3M in the long term, because 3M makes the masks and... and um, and uh, hazmat suits for Americans. And because people are worried that the, the virus is gonna spread to America, this is the company that's gonna finally pro you know, provide all of, those, all of those supplies to the American public. So, so 3M is probably gonna be one that's gonna be good for the, for the short term. 
Also understand that one of the biggest winners in all of this is going to be grocery stores. Kroger with, 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 with Warren Buffett and Berkshire taking a $350 million stake in Kroger is going to be insane what's going to happen when we actually get out of this virus and see the sales that they take from this. Have you seen VIR the past week? I have seen VIR. We talked about it in the morning Discord call. For those of you guys who aren't in the Discord, you're welcome to join our Discord at the top. You'll see where it says learn. We have over a thousand books on trading and investing in PDF for, uh, form for you to download and take for free. We have stuff on your IRAs, your 401ks, your HSAs, um, renting versus buying, mortgage calculators, everything you need, please go in there. It's at your at your service. Uh, you know, I want you guys to have all this information for free. I'm not out here trying to, trying to, uh, to, to make that um, against anybody. Thank you.